Welcome to The Last Bite. This is the moment in the show when I share with you a little helpful tip about how to make your life more positive, happier, and healthier. And today I'd like to share a little tip with you about being mindful. And mindfulness is difficult in today's society. It really means being present in the moment, being aware of your body, being aware of where you are emotionally, really being in tune with yourself and being living in the moment. So, so how do we do that with all the distractions that are out there, with all the things that can sort of pull us in so many different directions and send us so many different signals? We're constantly bombarded by stimulus. How do we just quiet the mind and bring it all to a sane place? Well, there's a simple system. It's not mine originally. I'm not sure who designed it, but I've customized the simple system that I like to call HALTS. And it stands for H, uh, A-L-T-S. H is for hungry. Now, sometimes we don't realize that we're as hungry as we are. And we mistake other things for hunger, or we mistake hunger for other things. So the first tip is to really sit with yourself and say, am I really hungry? Am I just eating out of A? Anger. Sometimes we're frustrated, we're angry, we don't realize it, but we reach for food. So it's either hunger or a anger. The L, lonely. You know, today's world, we are, again, uh, a lot of electronic communication, a lot of lack of human connectedness. L is for lonely. Am I lonely? Is that really what's going on here? And if I'm lonely, what should I be doing? Should I really be eating? Should I maybe um, reach out, call somebody, touch a friend, hug a dog, cuddle with your kids, um, pick up the phone and call someone that you haven't talked to in a long time? You know, sometimes it's just that we're lonely. And other times is just that we're T, which is tired. In the end, it isn't that we're hungry, it isn't that we're lonely, it's that we're just so darn tired. So instead of reaching for food, instead of reaching for wine, instead of reaching for coffee, maybe what we really need to do is just allow our body to relax, take a quick nap. You know, there's a lot of research that shows that power napping is really good for you. It really energizes you. It helps you sharpen the saw, just like exercise does, kind of cleans out the cobwebs and refreshes you. So if it is uh, that you're tired, that's another thing to do instead of eating. And finally, S for stress. You know, sometimes it's really nothing but the over kind of low, um, level anxiety that we feel that we recognize in our body as stress. And we are biologically designed to deal with our stress by doing something physical, not by eating, not by sleeping, not by hibernating, but by getting out and being physical. Our physiology is geared to it. So if it is hunger, anger, loneliness, fatigue, or stress, tire, being tired or being stressed, Think about that HALT system, and the next time you're feeling really agitated, calm yourself down, take a step back, and ask yourself, what is going on with my body? And become mindful, be present in the moment. That's a great way to increase your happiness, to make your life a little smoother, a little healthier, a little happier, and to help yourself look and feel as fabulous as you are. That's my tip for today. Thank you so much for joining me on Food Exposed. Share this show with your friends, your family, your associates, and don't forget to tune in next week.